Look ahead to his, this historic legal event with our home and security editor, Mark White. Now, Mark, talk us through, because um, I can remember back in the day, I used to watch Crown Court. You did, I don't, Mercy wouldn't have been around for that at all. Uh, but, but talk about what this actually means, because uh, is there a camera actually in the courtroom filming everything? What exactly does it represent? Yeah, I think I remember Crown Court as well. It got uh, huge audiences uh, for daytime television. Uh, this is not that. It's not the Americanization of the court system in which a full trial will be televised. There's no way that the judiciary would ever have accepted that, and many lawyers as well. They would see that as actually something that would be detrimental to the smooth running of the court system that would put many witnesses off, for instance, the thought that their trial was likely to be, and their evidence was likely to be televised. What it is instead is the judge's sentencing remarks. So a live camera feed will come from the court, but it will be trained on the judge only as that judge, Sarah Monroe, passes sentence on Ben Oliver, a 25-year-old man who pleaded guilty to stabbing his bedridden grandfather to death in January of last year. He pleaded guilty to manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility. What's happening in court at the moment, in about five minutes or so, it'll get underway, uh, but we'll hear the prosecution set out the, the history of the case itself, then the defence for Ben Oliver putting forward the mitigation, in other words, reasons why they think that he should get uh, a lesser sentence. Uh, one of the reasons, for instance, is that uh, he is believed to uh, suffer from Asperger's on the spectrum, uh, and that was one of the reasons why the Crown accepted a plea uh, of manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility. So all that, interesting though it is, you won't get party to, but what you will have then, after the judge goes out, to consider her verdict, uh, or, or her sentence, I should say, is that she will come back into court, and that's what we'll get live. We're told it's about five to ten minutes maximum, and then Sarah Munro will uh, uh, pass that sentence, give the reasons why uh, she is imposing whatever that sentence. It will be a custodial sentence, there is no doubt about that, uh, and some explanation about that. So it's open justice. The uh, Ministry of Justice, the judiciary, uh, want after uh, 10 years of campaigning by the broadcasters to now allow those television cameras in. But as I say, it's not the Americanization uh, of the court system with full trials on. It will just be the sentencing remarks, but still fascinating and still a historical moment. Okay.